In this video, you're going to see Audi Q7 video in motion for factory DVD. Form behind the Audi multimedia unit located in the glove box. Audi multimedia unit is simply removed by inserting Audi release keys, which can be found in any local store. And then the locks are removed, uh, actually the locks are released, and you can pull the whole system out to gain access to the wiring so that you can continue with the installation. Once you remove the main connector from the back of the radio, you will need this gray connector. The gray connector is the one where you will be performing your connection of the CAN wires. And then over here on top, you got the main pins where the power for the interface. So as you can see over here on top, you got red with yellow stripe and brown. Red with yellow stripe is your power and brown next to it is your ground. This is where the power for the unit will come from. And then this gray connector, you see this release on top? You will push this release up right here. This middle release, you'll pull it up and release the connector so you can work on it. And you can release the connector by using the pick tool, something like this. After you remove the connector, you will need these two wires. The wires you will need are orange and purple twisted pair. They're right here, orange and purple twisted pair. And you will perform the following connections. You will connect from our interface harness, orange to purple. You see orange connects to purple on the connector side and then green connects to brown on the connector side so this is the connector side you got green going to brown and you got orange going to purple and then you have the radio side of the wire you're going to connect yellow wire to purple and white wire to orange the entire installation will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Then you will plug in the interface to the harness end and your installation is going to be complete. I'm just going to take the interface, plug it into the harness. After you plug it in, you're done with the installation. As you can see, a video is playing on the screen. But as soon as I start to move, this video is going to shut off. So if I start driving for one mile an hour, the video will stop playing. It's going to say it can only be displayed when the vehicle is stationary. On the steering wheel, you got the mute button. You press and hold it for three seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Now when you're driving, the video will stay on the screen and it will play. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, and video will be disabled. Now, this can also be done while driving. So if you're just simply driving, you're not standing in one place. But you're simply driving and the video shut off when you decide you want to watch the video. So as you're driving, let me show you this. At the turn here. As you're driving at any speed, just press this button three seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Let go, and then that's it. The video is gonna be playing right on the screen. And you don't have to do it. Thank you for watching. If you got any questions, please email us.